Hey guys, welcome back. So, I got a lot of great suggestions on how to make PCBSD faster on this laptop. I want to cover a couple of things at first. There was some, uh, some, con some confusion over what processor I've got in this thing, what kind of laptop this is. It's a gateway. It's got an Intel B950. I said it was a single core. Turns out it's a dual core. You guys had me Google the heck out of this thing. It's a Sandy Bridge, so it's a perfectly modern processor. Four gigs of RAM. I think that's plenty to be running ZFS on such a small hard drive. Um, so, I, I stuck with ZFS, but as you can see, I'm now running um, LXDE rather than KDE. I can't tell a difference as a user, so I don't know why it defaults to KDE. Um, that thing was insanely slow, as you saw in the last video. Um, I swapped out the hard drive. We've now got a solid state hard drive in here. Now, you remember about the, the time to beat with the uh, elementary OS was about a minute. So, I've done some tweaking. It's now, it's a fresh install on the um, solid state drive. I've done all the updates. So, it's the latest version of PCBSD 10. And I went through and I turned off all the extra services in the RC, in the RC conf and did everything I could to get the thing to run faster. So let's uh, set up my stopwatch over here. I've got a nice stopwatch on my antique iPad and uh, we're gonna go restart. I've got it set up to auto log in and uh, I'll start the timer when we get to the BIOS splash screen. The, there we go. Start. Started the stopwatch. Here we go. I set grub to splash through in zero second delay. Here we go. Turned off all sorts of things in the um, RC conf PCBSD file. Um, there were all kinds of things you just flat don't need. Um, I figured out how to disable the wired Ethernet, which was slowing things down. So. There's still a lot of room for improvement in this boot process, but here we go. Now we gotta wait for X to fire up. It's still firing up fail to ban. It shouldn't be doing that. Anyways, I thought I disabled fail to ban. Chrome, and there we are. 47 seconds. 47, yeah, yeah, 47 seconds, and here we are in the browser. So, all it took was a solid state hard drive, a bunch of setting tweaks, a lighter desktop, and here we are. We've beat um, elementary OS when elementary OS is not running on a solid state drive. A little bit of cheating, but hey, PCBSD, that's uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, thanks, for the, thanks for the awesome operating system, guys. Um, how about um, making sleep work now? Because it really doesn't. Um, yep. I'm sorry, you may not sleep. Well, what the hell, guys? Uh, so much for being a laptop. But, at least it boots faster now. If you ignore all the cheating I had to do to do it. 